good day all. I am Dr. Mrs. Mercy Gospel Aje of the Department of Plant Science and Biotechnology, Faculty of Science, River State University, Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. I'm here to present a research paper on, I'm here to present a research paper on anatomical characterization of the leaves of some medicinal plants of the family Euphorbiaceae in Nigeria. Plants have been used as a source of medicine from time immemorial to treat different ailments. Traditional medicine has, in fact, become an integral part of culture. Euphorbiaceae family, commonly called sponge family, is a large family of flowering plants with 300 genera and around 7,500 species. Most sponges are herbs, they are herbaceous plants, but some are shrubs or trees, while some are succulents. Economic importance of the of the family Euphorbiaceae. Some members of the species of the family are used for food. For example, we have Manihot esculenta. Some are used for medicine. Example, Ricinus communis, commonly called castor oil plants. We also have Jatropha coccus, commonly called Barbados nut. Here in Nigeria, it is a very valuable medicinal plant. We commonly call it, or we locally call it, hospital too far. When you take it, you don't need to go to the hospital. That's the impression. Some are used for clothing. We have avia brasiliensis, commonly called para rubber tree. While some are used for as ornamental plants, we have euphobia ucherima. These are the pictures of the different plant species used for the study. Altogether, seven species of Members of Euphorbiaceae we use for this study. We have Jatropha coccus, Jatropha gossipifolia, Acalypha hispidia, Acalypha welkusiana, Euphobia heterophylla, Euphobia hater, and Manihot esculenta. The aim of this research work was to taxonomically characterize and validate the classification of selected members of the family Euphorbiaceae by looking at the anatomical features of the transverse sections of the leaves using light microscopy. The methods, standard methods of anatomical studies was employed where thin sections were cut and sections we cut after fixing the plant in formalin, alcohol, and glacial acetic acid in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 1 for 24 hours. Samples were dehydrated in 30%, 50%, and 70% alcohol for 3 hours respectively, and then we deposited into absolute alcohol for 24 hours. At the end of the Preparation samples were embedded in wax. The slides were put on a plate for a few minutes to expand the ribbon. The slides were then dipped in xylene for two to five minutes. They were transferred to alcohol and xylene mixture. Stain was done with safranin, Asian blue mixture, and mounted on uh, slides. The mounted used was glycerol, and it was included or covered with slips. Then photomicrographs of prepared slides were taken. This is the summary of the results gotten from the research work. We have the same nature of the epidermal tissue, one layer thick in all the plant species studied. The variation was seen in the nature of the cortical tissue, which has to do with cholenchyma and parenchyma tissues, the nature of the cholenchyma tissues on their own, then variation was also noticed in the cell inclusions, 
vascular bundle arrangement, the number of vascular bundles present or absent or trichomes and the protuberance and the riches and furrows, the na different nature of the riches and the furrows. These are the microcrafts of the seven species of Forbiesi studied. You can see the variation, the same epidermal tissue, but variation in the number of vascular bundles, in the nature of the vascular bundle, the shape, and then even the shape of the midrib varied. Okay, so these are the microcrafts. Several researchers have carried out a lot of work on different species of the Fobiesi, but not in the combination that was done in this research work. We have them here from 1902 down to 2010. People have been researching on this family because it is a very important medicinal plant family and the, they are highly sorted after. They are very, very useful in medicinal, for medicinal purposes and other purposes. The most important anatomical characters of the study species are trichomes, non nature of cortex and hypodermis, nature of the pit, shape of the transverse section of the midrib, nature of cortical, parenchyma, and cholenchyma cells, the number of observed vascular bundles, as well as the shape and arrangement of vascular bundles. In conclusion, the morphological and anatomical findings on the leaves studied of the study species serve as a systematic feature in providing additional evidence, which may be combined with other existing lines of taxonomic evidence in arriving at a better identification, characterization, and classification of the Forbesi species. The standardized anatomical characters assisted in detection and diagnosis of the particular medicinal plant species. Thank you all for listening. Thank you very much.